Hello everybody and welcome back to Phasmophobia. I know I just did a spooky video, but this game has an update uh, Tuesday or tomorrow. Ghost Exorcism Cores just had a huge update which I looked at a little bit, I do not understand any of it. And I wanted to wait until I was actually, you know, in a video before... Or, yeah, I wanted to record a video of it before... I delve too much into it so I can hopefully understand it with you guys opposed to me just, you know, sitting alone in my room trying to understand what this update is. But I figured since there, this game is having an update soon and this would be the last time I could actually make a video of it, I wanted to make a video. So just expect a lot of spooky videos in the near future. Just because... God, it feels weird playing this after Ghost Exile. I do want to play Ghost Exile a lot more. I want to... God, I forgot what it's like not having a good sprint. I want to play that more, get better at it, so I can actually do more spooky stuff. And give you guys better videos on it. <clears throat> but I also... Have Ghost Exorcism incorporated to learn, so... A lot of new spooky stuff this week, so bear with me. I will get you know RL Craft, Cult of the Lamb. I'll probably still do a um, what is it called? Ready or not video. Was that a door? I just want to hurry. I'll probably do a ready or not video Wednesday to kind of divide the uh, spookiness. I might do two, like on Wednesday and then spooky video Friday and then Saturday and then spooky Sunday. Uh, Chris Warner's heard a heartbeat. These doors don't look naturally open. I didn't even look for the uh, music box. But yeah. I expect lots of shooting and lots of spooky stuff this upcoming week. And then hopefully next week, they'll probably still. I swear I hear. I forgot to turn off this light. I'm hearing items, but I'm too busy talking and not paying attention. Okay, I heard that. Oh, freezing. Freezing an EMF5. What else do I have? Photo camera? Don't care. This is gonna be a bit of a longer video. I want to play all the roadhouses. This is going to be my only one on professional. All the rest are going to be, um, nightmare. So yeah, we should have some fun. Jin Shade Oni. Uh, Jin. Going to be fingerprints. Shade. Writing. And Oni. Dots. So this and this. Nope. This. I'm kind of excited for all the spookiness that's coming up. It's not even a full moon either. I didn't do anything for this last full moon, did I? That's disappointing. I completely spaced it. Oh, the new moon's coming up. So, next month I'll get the full moon and we'll have all sorts of fun spooky stuff. It'd be great if I could find a game that has werewolves to do for a full moon, but you know. I have yet to find one. You have this, grab this. I really miss... What are you doing over here, ghost? Go back to your room. Bad ghost. Wandering really far. I shut up, fingerprints. Cool. Alright, I got the ghost. A gin. So I was never gonna kill the shade. I'm sorry, um, the, the breaker. Well, it's not going to kill the shade either because the shade's not here. Hmm. One of the things I did see on Ghost Exorcism Incorporated was the fact that you could possibly have multiple entities. That sounds absolutely amazing to me. 
I haven't done any research on this game, like the updates that this is going to have. Because I, I would rather um, experience it first with my boyfriend and learn stuff firsthand. See what's new. I'll read the patch notes when they come out. Like when the game's updated, I'll do a quick glance so I kind of have an idea. But I don't want a whole lot of spoilers of it. Just because I've learned from the past that the more I follow like a game or something, the more excited I get for it. And the more excited I am for it, it feels like forever until it's actually released. It's all just a like a mental state type thing where technically time doesn't, you know, change for anyone and just because it's you're waiting for it doesn't mean time goes any slower but it certainly feels like it does and i really don't um i really don't like that feeling of waiting when it feels like it goes on forever oh i don't have a voodoo doll so i've learned that i can be more patient and pleasantly surprised when something comes out if I don't really look into it too much. Because the more I look into it, the more I'm going to want it to come out. And that's why I've been able to wait as long as I have for this update. Because <clears throat> I haven't been... I'm excited for it, and I'm really curious to all the interesting things that the game's going to add. But I'm more excited to learn. To try and figure out what's actually gonna happen okay what am I gonna do here I want to um, I want to try and get as close to a perfect game as possible so secondary camera the ghost event I have 95 sanity I could use the voodoo doll a little bit and I have smudge stick I'm safe I just need an event and it to do motion censored. So I need to drop this camera right there. I might need another motion sensor. I don't think this one's in an optimal place. Did I just get the objective? I just got the objective. Never mind. Okay, camera? Nope. Camera's up. Camera. Good. nothing I can't actually hold on to this much stick so if it decides to hunt I'm dead okay I'm gonna be smart about this I say as I have a singular item like item slot okay so I need a ghost event I'm gonna carry pills inside with me so I could take some pills if I get a little bit too nervous to kind of prolong, hopefully, the heart. Pop this here. That went farther than anticipated. Find a hiding spot. Open door. Okay, perfect. Drop this. Um... This still doesn't give me enough slots. Pick up the doll. Okay, so... If I get a ghost event, I just have to quickly swap to the camera. Item. A door touch? Which door? that door <sighs> you okay so has a ghost event so <coughs> 
garbage door? It's not like this one. Print interaction, fingerprint interaction. Perfect. Okay. I hit F. <sighs> I hit F. I realized where it went. I tried to hit F. I hit it too late. Oh well. Time to rebuy items. I don't remember how much items this game gets because it's been a long time. Yes, I don't carry a bunch of items. I have money. I think I got like one sanity pill that saved. Nope, all of them are gone. Okay, add it all. That was Tanglewood and I failed miserably. So now I can go here on Nightmare. Because what could go wrong if I can't even pass professional? Uh, torch. Yes. Cool, we have nothing. Uh, EMF, salt, prevent from hunting. That's gonna be a bit more annoying, actually. Oh, I like this house. Such a good house. Okay, let's first check for voodoo. Yep, we have another voodoo doll. Uh, breaker's not in here. So I have a basement breaker. I have the crucifix objective, so it's most likely going to be an upstairs ghost, like upstairs hallway ghost. Just because it wants to, um, you know, be next to impossible for me to complete that. God, I forgot how much the, you know, stamina is terrible in this game. I guess I used to Ghost Exile where you could just run for however long you feel and then eventually get tired. The recharge is rough. I will admit the recharge in that game is... You basically have... Sorry, what? Okay, I got EMF-5 right here. I don't know why I got EMF-5. Uh, light. I just heard a door. Which is good, because that means when I get my fingerprints thing, I'll be able to um, figure out what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, I can't run very long in real life. I don't have, you know, god tier stamina like I would like this character to have. But I know I could, you know, jog for more than two seconds before being winded. Or at least like a brisk walk would be nice. Ooh. What did I say? Okay, no fingerprints. Quick search. I don't want to be in the dark though, that's a problem. It's an upstairs hallway ghost, so it's going to be next to impossible for me to deal with. 
so no orbs. Okay, so this is Nightmare. I have to keep that in mind. Stay outside the house as much as possible. Didn't give fingerprints, didn't give orbs. I believe Obake always gives fingerprints. And the MF5, so it can't even be the mimic, but I'm gonna cross it out anyway. There. Now, the Anyo. Well, no. Right? The Goryo. The Goryo will always give dots. So that could be something, some sort of reliable information. I'm going to start getting stuff towards the front door. Just because it'd be easier for me just to haul it upstairs. You know. Considering the fact that I can't even run from the front of the house to the fence without getting winded. Like, what does my guy do all day? Does he just sit around and just play video games? Like, <clears throat> he's supposed to be somebody that's active. Constantly running to the truck, to the house, to the truck, to the house. Why do I have no stamina? Like, if I was a truck driver, I could understand. Like, just sit around all day, drive a truck, do nothing. Although, I'm kind of am just the truck driver, aren't I? Like, I had to get here somehow. Unless he just sat in there, like, nah, I ain't coming out. Also, wouldn't doubt that at all. I don't know why I'm doing crucifixes. I ain't gonna get that objective to save my life. And I don't know what this next update has. So I don't even know if money's worth it. So, I think my perfect game plan is just gonna go out the window and I'm just gonna focus on getting ghost next house. And then ghost, house, ghost, house. This is all the stuff I wanted to bring. Maximum protection. That was a horrible placement. There. Okay, footsteps. Where's my camera? I'm just going to put this here. I don't play this game for like... I don't actually know when the last time I played this game was. Okay, so we have footprints. Excuse you. EMF 2. I did get EMF 5, right? I'm not just delirious on that. I actually got it. Okay, confirmed. A thousand times no fingerprints. I want to confirm EMF 5. It's not going to take long for another door touch. That was a light switch. 
I no longer care about the light switch. Shower? Where's my EMF? And you're out of breath. Just two. I'm having second thoughts about it. Oh, shower. I'm having doubts about it being EMF 5. Not a wraith. I don't want to do this just yet. Can you sit upright right there? You can. I have my EMF. I need another video camera though. So I can watch over there. Although I feel like just putting it like right here and just having the camera facing it would be actually really good. Like right in this area. Because the ghost has to cross through here. Oh, writing. Okay. That confirmed my EMF 5. And it gave me my second piece of evidence. Writing. Now I'm going to run. And think. Writing. Spirit Shader Myling. I feel like it's been too active for a shade. And a myling... Getting it to hunt would be the easiest to tell if it's a myling. The problem is I don't want it to hunt. I don't have good odds surviving hunts. Whatever. What I could do is locate a safe place upstairs, grab the voodoo doll, force it to hunt, pray it doesn't find me. Okay, I'm gonna check this room. This room doesn't have a safe place. I mean, the closet's here, but I don't want to hide literally inside the ghost room. I'm gonna have to hide inside the ghost room. Ooh, there's the bone. There. Um. Yeah, this is nightmare. That's my only hiding spot, isn't it? What's with these houses and not having actual closets in their rooms? Like, one bedroom has an actual closet, the rest don't? Like, they have to have wardrobes. Well, I guess... Uh, I really don't want to do this. But, you know, in the sake of making content that's enjoyable for viewers to watch, I sometimes have to sacrifice myself. And I have a voodoo doll, which is like the perfect item to force a hunt. Lighter. I would laugh so hard if this just opened. Alright, I guess you should try.
how on earth did I survive that? I have no idea how I survived that hunt. No idea. I think the ghost just flung the door open and it I just so happened to be there and I panicked. It was a shade? What type of broken shade was that? Oh well. I didn't die, so I'm one for two. Uh, this street house. How is that a shade? That felt really active to me. Like, he didn't seem... Uh, motion, candle, event, Mary. Like, that didn't feel like a shade to me. Like, normally shades, like, I can't find anything, but I had ghosts. Like, it did stuff. It did stuff quite often, actually. Shut the door. Thank you. And I felt a lot more like a spirit would in terms of its activity. Broken door. I was even like selected on it and it opened. Okay. I got the breaker on. I don't know what to do. Chris Warren just heard a door. What's that? Shoes. <sighs> okay, that thunder kind of startled me. I hate how this house has like 20,000 bathrooms. Literally, every single one of these bedrooms has a bathroom in it. And then there's just another bathroom. This is like the only room that doesn't have a bathroom. That and this one. I don't know why I opened it. So these two rooms have to share this bathroom, but all the rest of these have their own. Like, the other house had no closets. This house has all the bathrooms you could imagine. And they're tiny little things too, like you ain't gonna be able to fit in there to do anything. I should have been looking for the bone. Oh well. I'm just here for the ghost. Now I'm looking for the bone. Uh, I'm gonna feel really dumb, really, really dumb when the bone's like right in plain sight and I just completely ignored it. Now see, this feels like a shade. This literally like no activity ghost. This is a shade. But no, the other one was a shade because why not? Alright, so I grabbed one of those, one of those. I got a book. I'm gonna bring these items. I'm gonna hold on to this. Grab my flashlight and EMF. Alright, ghost, where are you? Not there. My foot's uncomfortably asleep. I thought that drawer was open. Also, not there. Not 
there. What about in here? Nope. I don't tell me I got a basement ghost. I don't like basement ghosts. I don't like basements. Switch is done here. Yep. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I get a basement ghost? Just why? I need to confirm if that's two rooms or if that's one room. Because if it's two rooms, great. If it's one room, that's a big room. Okay, protection from the stairs. Protection from back here. I can't see anything. Cool, they're all just one room. I need to um, adjust my brightness. Because this is darker than I normally have it. Why is this light on? Did I do that? I probably did that. Alright, um... Journal. Brightness. Apply. Resume. Okay, items. I want this. I want this. Okay, I can at least see a little bit better now. Did I shut this door? God, I'm hearing things and I hate that more than anything else. Okay, I don't see orbs. Which is good. I have, like, no good place to put dots. Any touches? No? You gonna be a shy ghost now? I don't actually like... how far apart these are. I need my escape route to be as clear as possible in case it is something like a Thaye demon or... Any other nightmare. Okay, so I have camera facing here. I'm just gonna put it on the ground. So I was looking at it that way. Okay. Which that's closed. In this game, you can get fingerprints for lights. There we go. So we have a fingerprints ghost. That's good to know. Can I angle this at the door? I don't like how that's angled. Perfect. Torch on. Yep. Okay. So I have fingerprints. And that's it. It's a fingerprints, ghost, no orbs, so it's not a mimic. Isn't Huntu? Huntu, you always get freezing, right? looks like for 
some other reason with the light on. There's like a weird shadow effect. Oh, that happens. That weird little shadow effect right there always makes me think that this light is on. And I'm like, I didn't turn that light on. And then I realized no one did. The light's not even on. No writing. The door is not touched. Stuff inside the room is probably getting like. No, the ghost is besides. Oh, well, oh, Mike, please don't do that. Sorry if that was really loud, people. Um. Ooh, what EMF is that? Five. Jesus. Bad ghost. Nice fingerprint. Why the rapid fire? No, seriously, why the rapid fire? You're all of a sudden touching things. Okay, so now Goryo, it always gives um, dots. It could be an Abake or a Myling or a Jin. It could easily be any of those. Uh, Abake, I'm gonna get the fingerprints that look different. Oh, it's not gonna leave fingerprints once. Myling is gonna be sound based, so if I could eliminate. If I can eliminate the, um. Obake. Which I feel like. Consistent door touches is a really good form of elimination. Perfect. Okay, now where did I put my smudge stick? Okay, so. It's touched this, and it's touched this. Which, to me, would be not very Obake-like, so... I feel like it's going to be a Jin or a Myling. Jins don't turn off the breaker. But I don't want to use that as a reliable source, which means... Getting it to hunt is going to be my best option. What's my item? Uh, I never found the item. Um, not a mirror. It's probably another voodoo doll, to be honest. God, that light's bright. Okay, maybe my brightness is just a tad too high. That still see, feels like the sun to me. No items are in this room. What am I doing? It's in here. Yep. I'm dumb. Okay, where can I hide... Well, I'll still hear footsteps. Please don't tell me this is my only hiding spot. Is there any other... Are there any other hiding spots on this map? I don't think there's any other, like, good hiding spots on this map. I think I'm just stuck to, um, closets. Or, like, the... Those. But they're full. Could I hide there? That looks like a good spot.
There's probably a lot of you yelling at me saying don't there or just hide in the closets down there. Did this light like just flicker? Normal handprint. I don't like that. What was that? What type of a ghost event was that? I have chills. So a very good one. Oh, you are kidding me. I want to cry. And scream. And die. It's touching this door a lot. Come on, I know there's stairs. Go two at a time. Oh, oh. I was hoping it didn't leave fingerprints. Okay, it's definitely not an Obake. A, uh, yeah, Obake. Just touched that door far too frequently. Disappointing, or I was really hoping I could just get the ghost right then and there. But no. Mr. Mrs. Ghost has to be stubborn. Okay, cool. At least this means I could wait upstairs. Like, I could have proper hiding spot up here. I had one of these closets, right? Yes. And hopefully I'll be able to hear the footsteps. Because I don't have any other hiding spot on this floor. Literally none. I close that. Where did I put my smudge stick? Did I leave it down here? I did. Why did I just hear a locker? I wish I could check, but you know, character can't run very fast. You better not have touched one of those. Where's my UV? Okay, you didn't. I was just hearing things. You touched this door, though. Okay. I'm gonna confirm that it is absolutely, positively, no way, an Obake. Absolutely not. There's not a single bone in my body that screams Obake. It's left fingerprints on every single surface. Um, excuse me, game? I'm sorry, what was that? Was I just... Okay, I'm just dumb. So, not an Obake.
That is like the most terrifying thing. Ah, I forgot I have objectives. I completely forgot that I had those objectives. <sighs> I don't care. They're easy objectives, I know. I I I have one more roadhouse and it has almost been an hour. I got that one correct. I got nothing else though. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. I didn't even get I didn't even take a picture of the voodoo doll I got. I did nothing. That was that I'll admit that was a bad very bad match. Okay. Good old Willow. I know I should probably play Asylum because that's going to be changed in the update. I know that much. I am not doing Asylum by myself. Maybe on beginner. But there is absolutely no way I am going to actually attempt Asylum by myself. Motion sensor, photo, and salt. I could do all those. I say with very little confidence on the photo part. Salt, motion, I could do those. That's my item. I can technically do everything. <gasps> I have a garage breaker! I'm actually legitimately happy by that. Okay, so technically I can do every objective. This could be a perfect game. A nightmare. That would actually be a very great way to send off this game. One last time. A perfect game. A nightmare. I already got the bone. I can get a ghost photo. I don't think I did this. The ghost didn't do it either. If it's a basement ghost, I will be very disappointed. That's weird that both doors are already shut. Okay, so. Perfect game. Perfect game. How to do a perfect game. Step one find ghost. I know how I'm going to cheese the music box. I'm going to take all the cyanide pills until I'm not insane. I'm going to use the music box so I have maximum duration. Figure out how to get the ghost to be close. And go from there. I need to stop moving my legs as much when I'm holding an item and my mouse so I don't keep doing this. Okay, so I have the bone. The bone objective is complete. I hope I don't get a ghost that's like... Like really difficult to determine. Like I hope it's something so simple like a mimic where... I just get all the evidence right away and then... I could just... Get the photo cry because I'm terrified and live the living part is being very generous I'm probably not going to live although that would be really funny I get a perfect game and then I die I forgot I have three inventory slots um, salt motion sensor that means I actually have to pay attention with the salt and be, you know, good about getting the photos. Okay. Everything I need is right there. Save for a smudge stick. Where's my EMF? It's on the kitchen table. Enough time should have passed. The ghost should be doing stuff. All the doors are closed. So 
if I see an open door... Really? Really, you give me a shade when I'm trying like perfect... Get like my very last perfect game on this update. And you give me a shade. A true shade. <sighs> At least it's not in the basement. Watch it actually be a thigh A and it just hunts right now and kills me. item I knew that was in the living room what item did it throw okay no item freezing shade is still a possibility uh, dots book That's one thing I don't I miss about um like Ghost Exile. When you're crouched, you actually are crouched. Like you can't sprint. I like that, but I hate it at the same time. Cause I'm so used to Phasma where you just like zoom. That is three meters, so I don't have to worry about it. Um Yes. I hate how this turns off your regular flashlight. I'll grab spirit box. Come on, easy ghost. You're not being very easy ghost. Where are you? Actually, I think this ghost literally just told me everything I need to know. No, it did not. Ooh. This is actually difficult. The only ghost I could safely eliminate is the Mimic. This isn't... This isn't fair game. The Moroi? Moroi? I, I knew how to pronounce it. Because... I don't have access... To... My sanity. I can't tell if I was cursed. Because my sanity would just drop without me being aware of it. Yeah, we it smudged for longer, but that doesn't help me if I'm running for my life. Like that, that means nothing to me. And twins... Only way I could accurately determine twins would be through like 
twin interactions, but I don't have interaction board, so I can't really use that to help me. And the Anyo, the Anyo is the only ghost that I could actually do a test to figure out what it is. And that test is dangerous. <clears throat> it could lead to me getting hunted as a result of, of doing it. Because if it decides to blow out the candles rapidly, it can hunt afterwards. So... Yeah, that's a thing. Yes, the, cr the uh, candles are basically a secondary crucifix. Except they have a wider range. But the problem is, I also need the crucifix. Because I could do the test where I light several candles near a crucifix, and if they go out rapidly, and then the crucifix gets eaten, it is hunting. Like it wants to. It is uh, on you. That sounded very twin-like, to be honest. I like this door open, this door shut. And then there's a possibility of twins. Where one twin Okay, I was about to say, you better go up, because if you say negative in here, I'm going to be upset. Okay, so it's still in here. I can't disclude that from being just a normal interaction. That is close enough to the ghost room where the ghost could have walked out and done it. The problem is, it was a dual interaction. And that immediately screams twins to me. Like, just the fact that they both interacted with the same thing twice makes me, like, believe that it's twins. I need to get the other camera. So as of right now, I'm in a conundrum, because it could easily be twins. But it could have just been wandering. Like, that is something that is a very good possibility of it just wandering to this room and touching a door. I need the salt. You're overweight. I don't like this because I could hunt. Okay, I'm very uh, uncomfortable right now. Come on, ghost, please walk in the salt. Please walk in the salt, please walk in the salt. I don't want to, I don't want to do this much longer. Already at, at an hour. Okay, you triggered it. Walk in the salt.
Okay, I would really, really, really love a perfect game. You have no idea how much I actually would enjoy to get a perfect game on Nightmare Mode right before the update. But, I'm really not wanting to be here much longer. And you're getting me very, very nervous, Ghost. I kind of just want to figure out what you are and leave. Like, I really don't want to be here any longer. So if you could please just, you know, do something, walk in my soul, touch a door, anything I could take pictures of, I'd be really appreciative. Where's my breath? Where's my breath? Don't flash this light. Don't, don't flash this light. I don't like knowing that you're here and not there. It could be twins. It easily could be twins. And that's what terrifies me. Is I'm literally... What if it's a Maroi? Like, I haven't even thought about that option. How on earth am I going to determine if it's a Maroi? The only way to tell is sanity. Maroi, I think, always do spirit box, and he did spirit box. I don't have the key. I thought I got the key. Did I just look at the music box and then grab the key? That's what fell. Okay. But then they do stuff like that. Literally the same exact interaction twice in a row. That's the second time it's done like a twin interaction. Like this ghost is just emanating the feeling of twins. I'm not comfortable. I don't want to go with that room anymore. That was my only safe haven. I swear to god, if you walked into the salt, I'm gonna be very upset. I could've got a picture, I know. I hate you. Come on. I hope those counted. Wait, did I walk through two salt? It did. And I think that's the third. Yes. Okay, I'm outside the truck. Oh, have you got all of that? Footstep, footstep, footstep. Nothing. Cool. I can't get a perfect game. I can still get very close to a perfect game, but I can't get perfect. Let's put you there. Grab you so I can have you. Okay. This next part is not going to be fun. Well, one... I don't have a, a good hiding spot. Like, the stuff's not here to make this a hiding spot. It's not stuff there for that. To are you kidding me? You're out of breath? How are you out of breath? 
That's a hiding spot. It's probably not a very good hiding spot. That's also a hiding spot. So I could choose either bedroom. Um, this one will break line of sight quicker. So I put the music box down, get the ghost photo. I've already broken line of sight, but I, I confirm line of sight broken here, opposed to going here, which opens up slightly more chance for it to catch line of sight. So I'll keep the wall there, break line of sight, I'll cry the entire time, and then I'll hide. Okay. That sounds like a good idea to me. Now, I just need to figure out what ghost it is. How am I going to do this? Stay in the room that has light. That should be a decent enough radius. It keeps doing the twin stuff. It is constantly doing something I'd imagine twins would do. How is my sanity that high? Okay. It has to be twins. Every interaction I've seen it do, it's done twice. If it, if it can, of course. I hate the fact they blew out that light. I needed that light. Okay, so... I couldn't remember if I activated it or not. Okay, so I need to be smart about this. Because that light's off. Why is it here? Why is it... Go away. Go away. You know what? I don't want... No, I'm done. I'm done. I am done. I don't care. You moved. I legitimately have... Goosebumps. All over my arms, and I can feel it in my head. Like, I can feel my hair... Well, if my hair could stand. I could, I could feel my hair standing on edge. It's twins. I don't care. I don't care. I do care. I care a lot, actually. I want to get it. What are the odds it'll hunt? Oh, do a uh, ghost event again? Actually, this could be very high. Again, it did it in twos. The ghost adventure then ghost evented. I don't know if that's something a twin could do, but it did it. It broke the light. I don't want to go in there. If I don't stop the video now, it's going to get too long. And I'm not going to be able to upload it. I missed the photo anyway. 
So, to the new update. I really hope this is a uh, Red's Twins, because if not, I failed my last ghost. I hate you. Why did you do doubles? He yeah, literally did doubles of everything. Oh well. 42 interactions in 3 events. All of those were very... Like twin-like. It literally interacted with the door twice at least 3 times. 2 events. Back to back, which doesn't really scream twins, I don't think, but it's done. It behaved a lot like twins, so I don't care that I got it wrong. Anyway, this is the last video I'll be making of Phasmophobia on this update. Next time you see this game, it'll be with a brand new update, brand new map, brand new everything. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. It's a longer one, just kind of a farewell to. Well, farewell to this update and to embrace the new one. And prepare to see a lot more spooky games this week. Like the upcoming weeks, there's going to be a bit more. I want to get more use at Ghost Exile. I want to explore the Ghost Exorcism core. I want to explore the new Phasmo update. So, next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to have a lot of ghost themed games. So, hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one.